And I think one of the most powerful things that you can do is insert, insert short bursts of formative writing throughout your lesson, um, especially before discussion. So let me just define some of those terms. What is formative writing? First of all, formative writing is writing that you do when you don't know what the answer is necessarily before you start writing. So, and you might think about that in contrast to summative writing. Summative writing is, you know, when we ask students, how has Jonas changed in the, in the, in chapter three, um, cite, cite evidence from the novel to justify your position or to explain your, explain your opinion, right? That's like, I know what I think, and now I have to explain it to someone else. That is very different from a, a formative question which asks you to think in writing and where the purpose of the writing of the writing is to give you an opportunity to think deliberately, such as why might Jonas have said what he said at the end of the, at, at the end of the novel? What are some possible explanations, right? Right there, I don't have to know the answer before I start writing. Go, 30 seconds, think about that in writing. As soon as I do that, I've boosted what I call the ratio in the classroom, which is how many people are thinking about my question and how, how much deliberate difficulty is there in their answer? 